Okay, y'all, let's get into another R. Kelly update. I found a couple of articles, and we're going to read them, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinion as we go. R. Kelly says he's innocent of new charges, including kidnapping, drugging one woman, and infecting a teen with an STD. The disgraced singer was in a Brooklyn federal courtroom April 30th for his arraignment on a new superseding indictment that accuses him of menacing and brutalizing young women and girls. These are some strong allegations. Menacing and brutalizing. So, basically, they're accusing R. Kelly of putting them in a presence of danger and brutalizing them. Hmm. Appearing by telephone from lockdown in jail in Chicago, the I Believe I Can Fly singer plead not guilty to all charges during the eight-minute hearing, according to court papers obtained by Bossa. In March, a grand jury indicted Kelly, age 52, on the new charges of racketeering, bribery, kidnapping, and violating the Mann Act, or taking minors across state lines for sexual acts. Kelly is accused of drugging and kidnapping a young woman in 2003 and 2004. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Because clearly they're talking about the same person. So my question is, did he kidnap her and she got away in 2003? And they're saying that he got a hold to her again in 2004? Or he kidnapped her and held her a captive, allegedly, in 2003 and kept her until 2004? I don't get that. Kelly is accused of drugging and kidnapping a young woman in 2003 and 2004 in Chicago and elsewhere and holding her hostage in order to fulfill his sexual desires. The feds said Kelly abused the woman ID in court papers as Jane Doe number three in Illinois as well as other states coercing and enticing her to cross state lines for sex abuse, even though he knew she could not give informed consent, according to federal indictment, which was obtained by Bossa. Hmm. Wait a minute, y'all. The feds said Kelly abused a woman ID in court papers as Jane Doe number three in Illinois as well as other states, coercing and enticing her to cross state lines for sex abuse, even though he knew she could not give informed consent, according to the federal indictment, which was obtained by Bossa. I don't get it. The fans point out that during the abuse, Kelly gave the girl a controlled substance, all the while knowing that she wasn't capable of consenting. So they're also alleging that he drugged someone else. It's two things that I noticed about the ongoing saga with R. Kelly. Two things that are consistent. One, 
more and more charges are being added to indictment that have already been in process and two They're trying to paint a picture of a pattern with R. Kelly. Around 2009, well, let me go back. And the reason why I say that is because we've heard about the controlled substance with Geronda Pace and Faith Rogers. Moving on. Around 2009 and 2010, Kelly allegedly forced another unnamed teen girl under 17 years old across state lines and into forced labor. Wait a minute. Into forced labor. It's seems as though they talking about foreigners namely making a sex tape according to the indictment and in 2015 kelly is accused of infecting another teen girl known as jane doe number five with herpes after she was brought across the country to him so at this point now the tra the trafficking, sex trafficking allegations are making more sense to me because I didn't get it at first because we were reading indictments about American girls. Now they're saying these girls that are now being added to this new superseding indictment are foreigners. Yeah, when I tell you, R. Kelly got more cases than he got his songs. And is it me or does it seem like they trying to paint a picture that R. Kelly is running some kind of sex trafficking ring and had a record douchey camp going on? Ooh. Okay. And in 2015, Kelly is accused of infecting another teen girl known as Jane Doe number five with herpes after she was brought across the country to him and threatened her participate in videotape sex acts with him, the court doc state. Kelly has maintained his innocence and recently mounted failed bids to get out of jail on bail because of Rona. The judge in the case argued that if he got out, he could potentially flee or intimidate witnesses. His New York federal trial is scheduled to begin later this year. And I'm going to tell y'all what I think about that. You know, his 2008 trial was initially set for 2002, but it was postponed six years. And the way that this is going, oh, my God. I don't think it's going to be no trial this year. 